Hello everyone and welcome back with this new video. The Geo Pulse is here. I just received this new signal booster of GeoNet and is the world's first consumer car navigation device that is 10 times more accurate than GPS. And you can earn rewards. You can use it not only by driving, but also by walking or cycling. With this video, I want to help you understand this RTK receiver better by showing you the main features, but also how rewards work with the new Quest app. So let's begin. First of all, this is the unboxing. The box is simple but contains everything you need. Here is the GeoPulse. It's waterproof and built-in magnet if you want to install it outside. A great black sticker to install the GeoPulse, for example, inside your vehicle. The USB power cable is sturdy and gives a great feeling of solidity. Finally, the RF repeater, very useful to improve the GNSS signal of your devices. The new GeoPulse is a signal booster. Compared to a GPS transmitter that you can buy on Alibaba or eBay, this RTK receiver is definitely more powerful and greatly helps your mapping devices such as navigators or dash cams. In fact, thanks to the RF repeater that you connect to the GEO Pulse, if you are mapping with HiveMapper, this Geo Pulse will help a lot the HTC or B not to lose signal. Easy to install. You can place the Geo Pulse inside your vehicle, for example near the windshield using the black sticker provided, and power the Geo Pulse via the USB cable by plugging it into your car or using any power bank. And since it has an easy internal dashboard mount, is rugged and waterproof for optional external mount with a built-in magnet. Connectivity is mainly via Bluetooth, and the Quest app can also work in the background. But since the app is in its infancy, I recommend you especially for the Quest Hex Fix to keep the app open to properly obtain the rewards. The team also said that in the future, connectivity via Wi-Fi will also be available. And if you're interested for the GeodeNet RTK service, this service is enabled for one year. After one year, the GeodeNet RTK service can be renewed via GOD token or fiat payment for $20. Now let's talk about the installation. The first step is to download on your phone the Quest app on the website and proceed with the connection to the GeoPulse via Bluetooth. To get the rewards, remember to enter your Solana wallet, especially for GeodeNet Quest. And instead for IOTEX Quest, just enter the address, for example, of your MetaMask wallet that starts with 0x and etc. And above all, for security reasons, remember to bind the device with your email. And as always, I recommend you in your phone settings to put battery without restrictions to make the Quest app work at its best. So follow these steps.
Congratulations you have done and are ready to do the first quest. The Geodnet Hex Fix will allow you to get up to a maximum of 200 GEOD tokens. Press go in the app and simply drive bike or walk when using GeoPulse. Connected with the internet and Bluetooth at the Quest app, in the hexes of the Geodnet map, and complete an RTK Hex Fix. You will also see a notification when you complete an RTK Fix, and you will immediately receive your Geod tokens. With the first hex, you will earn 60 GEOD tokens. From the second to the eighth hex, you can earn 20 GEOD tokens each. That's eight different hexes in total for hex fix per GEO pulse, and therefore, 200 GEOD tokens for the quest in total per device. And in the top left map, you can check how the RTK signal quality is. If you have the purple circle, it means that you have only GPS coverage in that area. Instead, red slash yellow slash green means RTK on the grade of bad slash good slash perfect. There is no competition, so you can take your time to complete a hex fix. And whenever you want, you can withdraw your GOD tokens that you have accumulated during the quest. They arrive after a few minutes in the Solana wallet that you entered in the configuration. The second quest available is from IOTEX, and you will be able to mine IOTX tokens. It's a much more passive experience, and then simply by enabling the IOTEX quest, you automatically get two IOTX tokens per day until the allocated pool, equal to 2,500,000 IOTX, are exhausted. I am noticing that, since the app is at the beginning, it has a bug of closing itself. To avoid this bug, especially if you still have to finish getting the 200 GEOD, I recommend you to disable the IOTEX quest so that this bug doesn't occur. I am sure that in the next versions of the app, this bug will be fixed. So to summarize, through the two available quests, the one of the 200 GEOD tokens and the two IOTX tokens per day, with the current value, you can get half ROI of GeoPulse. To get more rewards, we will have to wait for the release of future quests. The GeoPulse is not designed to be a miner, but more as a device to help navigation and also a signal booster for our devices. In any case, I am sure that through the future quests, for example, one could be the parking garage mapping, we can easily obtain the ROI of the device. You can order the GeoPulse at $149 in the official Hyafix shop. And for a 10% discount, you can use at checkout the coupon Il Capo Fox. And I recommend you to also check the official resellers who can ship first. For example, for USA, I recommend Helium Deploy. And you can use the coupon Il Capo Fox for a 10% discount. For Europe or nearby countries, I recommend the official reseller Freshmaners. And you can use the coupon Il Capo Fox 3 for a 10 euro discount. For worldwide, there is also the official reseller EasyNav and you can use the coupon ILCAPAFOX GEOPULSE for a 5 euro discount. So in conclusion, I personally ordered the device also to improve the reception in my car, and this will certainly help the growth of Geodnet. And then I am sure that by doing the quests, also the Web3 ones, that will be introduced, it will be possible to make the ROI of the device. I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe to the channel to help me share more contents. Happy mining, everyone!